Hey guys, it's Shaq Beats here and welcome to my first ever sound design video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make a choir pad that I really really like. Alright, so as you can see I have Vital loaded up, it's like probably like my favorite synthesizer. And the free version is really really good as well, although this is the paid version, but you all can try it out if you want to. So let me just play uh, for you guys how it sounds like. So you can hear that it's like very, it's very much like a choir. It has that like vocal sound-ish. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make it from scratch. So I've just uh, initialized the preset. So this is what you get, you know, when you just open Vital. Just a saw wave, all right. For the first oscillator, um, this is one of my favorite um, wave tables. And the reason why I like it is because it has a very airy sound. Okay, let me just play it without anything, just the wavetable itself. You can kind of hear like it's buzz, it's very buzzy on the high end, but it has like a little bit of mid end that's really good. So I'm just gonna give it a um, few voices of unison. And also pull down the detune slightly. You can keep it at 20% or like, um, it depends on what you want, but I'll probably keep it at 20%. So you can already hear like there's a little bit of that choir sound already. So for the second oscillator, my favorite wavetable to use for this is granular upgrade. It's very similar to oscillator one, but we're gonna move it around just you know to experiment around with it. Yep, right there. You can hear like, you know when you move around, um, when you move the frames around, you can get different timbres and you know you can get the sound that you want. So yeah, a quick tip for you guys, if you all load up a wavetable and you feel like the initial sound isn't what you want, try moving it around, like moving around the frame so that as you move it along, you might find the sound that you like. The part that I really like is about here. <laughs> Yep, about here, and I'm gonna give it seven voices of unison. And for this one, I'm gonna pull the detune down a bit more because I don't want it to sound too wide. The first oscillator is already doing the job where it's pretty wide, so the second oscillator, I wanna make it slightly more um, focused in the center of the mix. And also put on the volume a little bit. So this is how it sounds like, just these two oscillators on its own. <laughs> So we're gonna um, mess with the attack. Let's just give it a little bit of attack and some release, cause you know we don't, we don't want it to sound too static. So let's let's listen. This is fine. Um, it depends on what you guys want. If you want like a really atmospheric pad, then you can maybe crank up the attack to maybe about like one second or however you want, but for now, I just want like a standard pad, so I'm not really gonna um, push the attack too much. Alright, so we're gonna move on to the filter 1. So what we're gonna do here is for oscillator 2, we're gonna route the filter to filter 1 instead of filter 2. And let's go to the formant, let's choose formant, and you can choose either one, but I like this one more, the AIUO. So let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> I really like this uh, Foreman filters is because that it really brings out the voices in a way, like the choir voices more. So it really highlights it. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take LFO one, right, and modulate the X position and the Y position just to make it a little bit more like in a way realistic, but also like so that it moves around the sound morphs around so it doesn't sound too static. Okay, let's let's move the tempo down to um, 1 over 1 and let's take a listen. Alright, that sounds pretty decent. Uh, let's Okay, let's make it very extreme so that you kind of know what it sounds like if I really put it to the extreme. Yep, 
yeah, you can really hear like the frequency shifting around. Uh, I don't really want that, but I just wanted to sweep slightly just across. So I'm gonna, you know, make it very subtle. This is good enough. So next, we're gonna use filter 2, but instead we're gonna make it a high pass. Oops, we're gonna make it a high pass, yeah. Let's make it a high pass. Okay, then we're gonna route filter 1 into filter 2. Just like this. Just click it right here and let's take a listen. Yep, that sounds good enough. This is pretty much the sound design part of it. And let's move on to the effects. So first off, you gotta add the chorus. You can add 16 voices, but I prefer to choose 8. Alright, um, put the mix a bit down. You can mess around with the delay 1 and delay 2, or even the depth. It's up to you, but um, I prefer sometimes to just leave it alone. So let's just listen. Alright, and next we're gonna add a multi band compressor. Uh, this is how it sounds like with a full mix on. Sounds pretty. I don't know, it sounds really weird. But I'm gonna put the mix really, really low just to highlight that high end. Yep, about there. And lastly, you're just gonna slap on a reverb. You gotta do it. You just gotta put it on some reverb. So just cut off some low end so that you, know, you don't get too much low end rumble. And you can just mess around the delay. Uh, so I like to put the time about 1.7 to 2 depending and put the mix a bit up so that it sounds like the choir is really singing like in a in a big hall um yeah so this is how it sounds like all right guys so that's pretty much it if you want to you can add a delay on it but uh, i prefer to not just to keep it like rather simple and clean but honestly um, if I were to choose, I actually wouldn't add all the effects in here. I'd probably use like even stock FL Studio plugins or uh, external ones. But speaking of that, actually the effects here are pretty good also. It's up to you. That's pretty much it. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more, click like and subscribe. And comment down below on what you guys want to see next. See you guys next time. Bye!